vintage aircraft that dates back to the Wright Brothers era. This is the, the epitome of, of flying. It's just the open cockpit, you have wind in your hair, you know. You feel like you're riding in a motorcycle, actually. Pilot Gene Gray and his partner, Paula Maynard, is the team behind Skyline Aerial Ads and Biplane Adventures. They offer biplane rides from an airfield in Northampton. You may have seen one of Gene's planes pulling banners, advertising businesses and events across the skies in southern New Hampshire. But this 1941 N3N3, known as the Yellow Peril, is his baby. Something I've always wanted was a, a biplane. Ever since I was a kid, I always wanted to fly a biplane. A biplane is a fixed-wing aircraft with two wings stacked above one another. This one has a special story. It was used to train Navy cadets during World War II. How did they train in this plane? Well, this is the first plane that they ever were in. They actually sat in the front, and they, the uh, instructor went in the back, which is where the pilot normally sits. They do a few flights in that, and then he puts them in the back. Um, and then they just do all their takeoffs and landings with this. Gene has taken quite a few World War II veterans for a nostalgic ride. We've had veterans come here to, to actually train in these, these airplanes. But to get them inside, and as soon as you get them in the air and let them take the stick, they turn into 17-year-olds again. They know what to do. And they know what to do. They fly. They, it comes all back to them, and you can just see that they're reliving what they used to do many years ago. Gene and Paula traveled to California to buy the plane several years ago. Running on about two hours of fuel at a time, there were frequent breaks during their flight back east. This plane is not exactly fuel efficient. Frequently, we fuel it every uh, couple hours. It burns 22 gallons an hour, and then it burns a quarter of oil an hour. So it's high maintenance girl. <laughs> That's what she is. But we love her. And I always like flying, but you're out in the open. You don't have even that glass there. And when we came across country with it, I mean, we're seeing everything. You're right there seeing anything that you want to see. It's right up. Well, let's go over there. Check that out. It's just, you know, you can't do that in a, a major airline or something like that. And that's pretty incredible. What is so special about taking folks up for a ride is not just the incredible views. The guest is in the driver's seat. The N3N3 offers flyers a chance to take a hold of the controls from the front seat. There's also no special route. You tell Gene where you want to go. We say you live nearby, let's go fly over your house. Let's fly down to the beach if you want to go check out the girls along the beach. And they like to do that. They go in and just fly low and the people looking at you on the beach and he's waving out the window at them. It's, it's a really neat experience. Take this foot, put it in here. Oh, yeah. Nicole Sacco had never been in a plane like this before. I can't wait for the wind in my hair and just the views and just the new experience. I couldn't believe it. It was like more calm than I thought and so peaceful. Did you see anybody you recognized? Oh, we went past our house that we rented. All my family and friends were out there waving to me. Now it was my turn. What do I need to know? We'll show you how to get in the cockpit, show you what you can touch and what you can't touch, and then we're gold. So you mean I can fly this thing you if I want? You can fly it. Oh, you imagine that. It. And you're going to fly it. Oh, I am? Yes, you are. I have to? Yeah. OK. <laughs> Prerequisite. It is? Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm ready to go. I climbed aboard. Put in there. Got the handles up top. While Jean buckled me in, the late summer air was thick with humidity. The leather helmet might have worked better on a cooler day. Okay. This goes on. Like 95 that. degrees. Put that on your head. Okay. All right. Yep. Are you set? I'm set. You are ready. Time for me to get in. I don't really want to fly the plane. <laughs> A hot blast of air hits our faces as we prepare for takeoff. Okay, here we go. The takeoff was smooth and quick. Within seconds, we were airborne. Even 
though the wind seems loud. Inside, the tiny cockpit was actually quieter than I thought. We flew over Interstate 95, heading towards the beach. I was warned if I stuck my phone outside the cockpit to snap a few pics, the wind would snatch it out of my hands. We cruised along Hampton Beach, and from the back seat, Jean offers up the controls, a little daunting at 10,000 feet. And with the tailwind pushing us along, we turn back towards Northampton, landing smoothly on our grassy runway. That was something. <laughs> yeah, flying the plane, I don't know, having that stick move this way, move that way, it's a, it's a little challenge. You got to fly it. Well, not really, maybe a little bit, but not much, <laughs> not much. You got to see what it felt like. For Jean and Paula, sharing their love of flying in their special ride, it's what it's all about. It's the best thing you could do is to see the smiles on people's faces. It's something you can give back to people. 